Hey, what's up? Steve here. Um, this video is about relacing a baseball glove. Now, this can be for people who are part of the reseller community. We all know that baseball gloves are great items that you can find at yard sales and thrift stores for a few bucks, and they're still in great condition, and you can resell them online for profit. Also, this goes for anybody who has a baseball glove, and you need to do some relacing. Now, if you're going to relace your whole glove, you're going to want to buy what's called a relacing needle. You can get them online or any sporting goods store for usually between like five and ten dollars. But if you don't have one and you need to do a quick fix, I'm going to show you an easy way with something you have around your house that you can use to do it. Now, I used to have a relacing needle, but I can't find it. I recently pulled down my baseball bag and then filled with gloves, my old cleats, everything. Obviously, you don't know, but I played baseball ever since I was a kid, eight years old. Played the Little League, the Babe Ruth League. You know, Little League, I played on the All-Star team, which we went to, we played in Coney Island for a regional playoffs, you could say, to try to get to the Little League World Series. That was pretty interesting. Um, I played in high school, I played college, and then I played Federal League, which was semi-pro down here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We played at the Fort Lauderdale Stadium, which was home for spring training for the New York Yankees. Ever since back in the day, like with Joe DiMaggio, I've seen pictures of Joe DiMaggio and all the Yankee greats playing there on the same field that I played on. So that was pretty cool. And then in the, like the early 90s, mid 90s, it became home to the Baltimore Orioles. And we got to play, that was our home field. So we played there. Um, so I don't have the needle anymore, I can't find it. But I did pull out all my gloves and I'm gonna sell them. And I did find an issue on one of them that I need to restring the pinky. So let me show you that. Okay, so I have five gloves here. I have a Louis Little Slugger, two Rawlings, a Mizuno, and a Wilson. Now this is the one that has the issue. If you look at the pinky, actually this one I picked up at a yard sale. This Rawlings was mine. I'm not selling that, I cannot part with that. That was my glove from when I played semi-pro. And these other ones were my kids that are in mint condition, I'm gonna get rid of. They don't use them any longer. But on this one, if you look at the pinky, the lace came out of the hole and whoever had it just stretched it across and tied it outside. And I can't sell it like that. So I need to relace that. So let me show you a trick that you can do without a relacing needle. All right, now I'm out here in my shop because I'm gonna need some tools for this. Basically what you're going to need is some sort of small, thin, basically like a push rod. So I'm using this little screwdriver. You need a nail. You need a paper clip, which I've straightened out, and a hammer. Now if you don't have a hammer and nail, you, if you have like a, a thick safety pin, then you can use that. So let me show you how, what we're going to do. So if you ever have a glove that comes undone on the, it's typically going to be either on the thumb or on the pinky. And that's where the ends. You're not going to get it in the middle of a crisscross. Because so the twist on the end or the twist on the thumb will come undone. And if you don't pay attention, it can get pulled through. So when you're playing ball, always you'll see ball players always kind of like fidgeting with their knots. Keep them tight. You have a knot here for your thumb that holds your interior thumb. You have one up here. That's for your webbing. But your thumb and your pinky are the ones that are gonna come undone. Now this one is on the pinky. And the thing is you cannot take your string and just push it through because it is not a straight through and through. If you look, the hole is on the inside on this front on the pinky, but it's on the back outer edge of the other side. It's here and here. So it's a diagonal and you cannot push the leather through. So you need a guide. If you had a relacing needle, all it is is basically um, like a metal, it's, it's thicker than this, but it's like a metal pole and it has a hole on the end, which you would just put up to the leather end and you stick it in and you kind of twist it and it grabs the leather and you can pull it through. Now with the screwdriver, all you want to do is, I did it already so I can manage the camera as well. You're just going to take it because the padding inside is going to block the canal. So you want to work it through and you want to open up your passageway. Okay, and once that's done, just remove it. Try not to mess with the glove too much at that point. So I'm gonna take the paper clip. 
and I'm gonna feed it through. And as you see, it came out the other side. I've already put a hook on it. If you have needle nose pliers, these, you just grab the end and you make a little hook. Now I left it open because we need to thread it onto the, the strap and then be able to pull it through. All right, now I've already started it and I'm using a little clamp just to hold the leather in place you know, for the video. Now, if you don't have a nail and a hammer, like I said, you can use this, a, a thicker safety pin and push it through the end. Otherwise, a hammer and nail, just take a nail, put it right on the end of the leather, and you're gonna go right, th right through the end. So basically, you're just putting a hole into the strap. Okay, now once you have your open hook on your paper clip, and you have your hole, you're just gonna thread like so. Now you don't have to leave the paper clip through the hole when you're doing it. It's easier if you have it out. But I just had it there so you can see. But you can take it out or even don't even put it in before you do this. Put it on there. Now what you'll do is you take your needle nose pliers. If you don't have needle nose, uh, regular pliers, wire cutters, just be careful you don't snip it. What you're going to do is squeeze your end of your wire closed. So now I have my loose strap with my paper clip attached. And then you're just gonna go, and you would feed it right through. Now sometimes your hole might have closed up, you use your screwdriver again, but I'm, it's going right through. So you would just pull it there. You gotta make sure your strap is nice and straight on the end. And then you would take your needle nose, it makes it easier to pull. Grab on this end, and you're going to pull your thread right through. Now the hardest part will get it initially into the top hole. So you might have to stretch it out again with the screwdriver, or a larger screwdriver. But once you get the tip of the leather into the hole, then it's just a pulling, pulling, pulling. And then you'll get it to come out the other side. And you grab the strap. And you pull it through and you're out now you have your cross pull it tight of course you twist it you want it to be nice and straight that's an easy fix you pull it tight all right well the light went out because the flash overheated but either way pull your string through tighten it up you got your nice crisscross Now you have your string on the back side, and then you would just tie your knot. All right, and there we have it. Nice cross, tied off on the end. Good to go. And this one actually did sell. That's why I fixed it this morning, so I need to send it out. That's it. Probably took me three minutes to do. Real simple. You know, if you have the proper tool, the, the, the lacing needle, it's... You know, it's very easy, a little quicker, but without it, you know, if you're in a pinch and you need to do that, paper clip, either a safety pin that's thick enough or a nail and a hammer, and job is done. And some type, type of pliers to squeeze your hook closed. So that's it. Um, I'm going to put a link below if you're interested in to see what a lacing needle looks like or buy one. Um, and that's it. Thanks for watching. Please check out my other videos. Subscribe if you would like, and I'll see you later. Bye.